Welcome to Ron Wills Money Matters. Thoughts about retail chains closing. Now this is even this is even bigger because the restaurants are bad enough, but as I said, the chains might be closing, but you, you still got some, um, you know, most of the chains haven't just gone out anyway. And then you still have a lot of uh, single owner restaurants that are opening up, serving some good food. I mean, I would advise to eat at them if, you know, you like their food. Even then, it's still tough because you still got to pay attention to the restaurant chains closing because those are jobs. And, you know, I gave the reasons, you know, general inflation, people can't, you know, saving their money, which I don't blame. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. But also, uh, you know, the demographics, a lot of these chains came out during a time when boomers were spending money like crazy. Not as many boomers, the subsequent generations, uh, Gen X, Millennials, Generation Z, Generation Alpha, they just don't, they just don't have as many people. All right, I talked about all that, but I wanted to think about the retail chains closing, the retail stores closing. I mean, you've had some major, major retail cl stores closing, and even in uh, even what we have now, you got some chains talking about they're closing, you know, they're closing up, and they'll blame it on theft and all of that stuff. But I'm just like, mm, yeah, they saying that. And honestly, let me just make a, th a thing there because I've worked retail before and I worked it during a time when um, they, didn't have t they didn't have a problem busting some heads. Um, they going in because these companies, they want, want much, they, they stealing from these places because these companies would much rather not be hit with a lawsuit or something. I say take the lawsuit. <laughs> I say take the lawsuit. Let them know. But that's just me. But when I'm looking at them closing, it's the same thing. Because if you look at a lot of people, they're not buying a lot of stuff. Or, you know, of course they can't maybe afford it. But then they're not buying the same way. Because who buys clothes? If you notice, okay, the largest cohort is still the baby boomers. The boomer. The boomer generation. You get older, you don't need to look as fly. You ain't heading to the clubs, all of that. But then you got the younger generation, and you know, of course, people are talking about online, which is still making, a, that's making a big difference. But then when you're talking about clothes, a lot of people are still buying clothes from regular stores. They still going out to the stores. So, but you still have retail chains closing, and those are major. If you look at a retail chain, like especially uh, like some of the bigger stores. Like when I was working retail, I was paying attention to everything, not just the workers, but you got truck drivers. You got people, you, you have an outlet for several businesses. Several businesses who may not, you know, for whatever reason, they might not want to have like a standalone shop. Now, yeah, some of the bigger retailers, you know, like brands and stuff might have a shop somewhere. But, you know, if you're talking about reaching the average middle class person, uh, they usually going in like, you know, they usually had these big old department stores and everything. These department stores aren't making as much money. See, that affects more than just, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just some workers at the store. That's the front line. Then you have stuff, like I say, you got the truckers, the logistics, uh, loading docks, uh, stuff like that. You had the businesses itself. If you go through any department store, any large store, it could be a major department store, it could be like a more discount department store. I don't feel like advertising for them, but you know where I can find them. You start going through, remember how many brands they might, they might have like literally a thousand brands thousand different companies making those products. Literally, literally. If the department stores or the bigger stores are closing, that means less sales for the other stores. Now everybody be saying, well, hey, they, can, they can get online and everything. Everybody don't like online. Especially if you're buying clothes. Like, let me give you an example, shoes. If you're buying shoes, you actually need to buy them straight away. 
you actually need to buy them straight away because you need to try them on because a size 12 in one shoe is not the same as a size 12 in another shoe. Those are one of those things. And then other clothes. And then sometimes, I'm be real, people like shopping. People like trying on something first before buying it. That's still the case. And, you know, when you get these uh, retail stores that are closing, Oh, that's affecting somebody business-wise. That's affecting somebody. Because, yeah, she still got some open. And, I mean, you know, I see a story here and there about, especially someone black, you know, they're getting their product in a particular store. But what if that store closes? You know? And, yeah, you actually will get some grocery stores that are closed, too. In fact, you go in a lot of grocery stores now. You know, it's funny. You go into a lot of them now and they'll have a whole bunch of, they got these self, self-checkout self things, which that's a halfway in another conversation because then they're not hiring a cashier. When I can and I'm, you know, I'm not in a big hurry, I always try to use a cashier even though I, I'll use that. But shoot, that's, you can add that in there. I could probably do thoughts about grocery stores closing. But that's, that's not as big though because grocery stores, people still got to eat. And plus, they're not going to restaurants, so they're going to eat. But even then, uh, a lot of grocery stores, they they ain't that full to capacity as far as who they can have for working. It's a trip, but yeah, these retail stores closing because you think, okay, people still got to wear clothes. And yeah, you can still probably open up a smaller shop, something like that. Just like, you know, when I say we're opening up a restaurant that's not a chain. Yeah, you can still do that, but then you're affected by maybe a bigger store closing. Like at my local mall, they, were, they had built up a place that was supposed to be a major grocery store. Now it's sitting empty because the people who were going to build this grocery store put in some stuff, decided, nah, we don't want to. Now you got this big empty space. And now you got like, uh, you know, you got the major department store up there. That's supposed to be the major traffic drawer, but eh. Most of the time I would see at my local mall people there is during Christmas and Easter. And that's usually to see Santa Claus or the bunny. So it's like, wait a minute, if you got some of these retail chains closing, they a lot of times they anchors for a mall or a shopping plaza or something like that. They close, that affects the other stores. Because one of the things is it's all about traffic and the stores, jobs. Several businesses, several thousand businesses, you get so much affected by that, you know. Even if you got a business, and now say you got a retail chain in a particular region, they got uh, 20, let's just say, no, 10 stores, 10 stores. They close three of them. Somebody might think, well, yeah, well, you know, we can just go to those like remaining seven. Yeah, but that's three that's affecting your bottom line. See, it's, it's so many angles to that. Like every time I see about a store closing, I'm trying to think, okay, how many people in that area worked at that store? You know, how many businesses ate off of that store? Like if you got, oh, okay, let me use a great example. Like say you had like some of these cities that are real poor now, well broken down, were once major factory cities. You took out the factories, you affected the other jobs. Cause say you got a big old factory selling, making whatever. But then you got a nice little takeout place right next to it that would really, that was living off the factory. Factory closed, that takeout place goes out of business. And then that affects other businesses because then you get some restaurant place that's supplying them with different things. They're not making as much money. See, it, it one, understand something with all these businesses, one affects the other. You know what y'all think about that? And these are just brief thoughts. But look at the bigger picture. Just You might see that one close, but then, okay, like if you see one major retailer like move out or a building close, something like that. Try to think, okay, what else is around that store? How many people work in there? You know, that affects mortgages. That affects a lot of different stuff. Because people, it's, 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 you know, it's good to say, oh, well, just get another job. In fact, I always question it when they talk about all the jobs being created. I'm like, where? And are they like full-time jobs? That's another conversation. I get more political there, all right? So anyway, though, something to think about, all right? But in the meantime, 
Let's go make that money.